Welcome, friends. It is I, Rose Sky, and it's time for another one shot, and we're playing Reassembly by Anaceptera Games. And this game is interesting. It's a very cool idea what it does, and I'm just going to show you. I've been playing it for about an hour, and the way this game works, I'll just dive into it, and I'll show you. So, the way this game works is this. Let me hit M. So, this is a game where you have a ship that you can make and you can explore well space. And space is harsh. There's some really strong ships out there to deal with, and there's wormholes for other universes to check out so you can see whole new maps with them. It's a big, from what I can tell, randomly generated world. Now, in the game, you have your own faction, and this is my ship for my faction. This is a crazy ass looking ship. Now, what's great about this is I can make my ship however I want. I can expand it. I can add weapons to it, which costs points. I can add thrusters for more movement. I can add so many different things. I can flat cannons, lasers, missile launchers, auto cannons, defense cannons, plasma projectors, harvesters to just harvest stuff so I can well, have more points to build with, go over to upgrades. There's more things I can get. Harvesters are for things this year. I can have a freaking antimatter cannon, which is expensive. It takes a while to get it. Proto cannon, proto sword, I don't even know what the hell that is. Proton sword, I mean. Shield generators, which cost a pretty penny to get. But of course they protect you. Factories! Factories allow you to make... Uh, hold on a second, go back. On a fleet, that's what I was looking for. Factories allow you to make a fleet! So you can have little things come out of you. So I can have these Talon ships come out of, out of me with a factory. I can have this Black Skulls, the mini freight. I can have a shuriken. Like, these are things I can do. Or I can make my ship into whatever I want. I can also color code it and name my ship and my faction. Well, my ship, at least. I don't have a faction. And there's a lot of things you can do in this game. It's a very simple idea. It's a $15 game. A lot of things you can do with it. You can have your weapons have different fire rates. There's auto fire stuff, point of defenses. So many things you can do with this game. It's pretty cool. And you also can go in and make these ships. So a thing I can do is I can, to pull these out really quick, I can make my own ship, import, and I can make, where the hell this is, delete that, I think this is supposed to be the, oh, this is command module, okay, so I need that, so I got my command module, this thing dies, you die. I can make this, let me just combine all these things really quick here, just keep going here, I can make, I don't know why the mouse is off, though, like, the why it's weird like that, let me go back. I can expand their size. Good. I was wondering about that. So, go in here. Delete these. So, I can make this. Big ol' mass. Like so. Weird looking thing. And just keep adding these big ass masses really quick here. So, I can make... I should make this prettier. Hold on a second. There we go. So I can make a cube of death right here. And I can, of course, put weapons all over it. So, laser. Zoom in. There we go. So I can make just a big death cube with lasers all over the place. Just a big death laser cube. Right across the front like that. Then put missile launchers on the back. This is a silly looking thing. That's really dumb. What am I doing? That's dumb. Should put the missiles on the side. So I can just make this big, crazy ass looking ship right now, which I'm doing. Of course, it's going to need thrusters. So I want to say expand the back a little bit. I need generators, of course. So put generators on the back to power my weapons, or else I won't be able to do anything. And cover my empty my spots right there. There we go. I gotta put thrusters, so put these big old thrusters on the back of it. And this sucker's gonna take a while to make. There we go. No, that's not good. We can add on to those thrusters. So this is a big, ugly ass ship I can make in a second. You have defense cannons, why not? Okay, so there we go. Let's just exit. We'll save that. That is my unnamed ship, and I need three so I need 357. R to make this ship. So, let's get to that point. So let me just put this back together here. 
There we go. Exit, save. Okay, so now I got my ship, right? Now I need to go gather a bunch of R. So you gather R by killing other ships or by harvesting plants. Oh no, no, no. You gain, yeah, you gain R for that. You can gain C from selling ships. Now you can see there's other ships in this world. They're made by other players, like oh, ships other players make will spawn in the world. And stuff like that. So there you go, destroyed that and getting pieces off of it. So there you go, I got 100 R there. So I need 84 more R so I can make my monstrosity. So you can break these up and harvest plants. You can kill other ships to harvest stuff. Your other ships in your fleet will harvest with you too. That's a mean looking ship. Oh crap. Oh no, that's gonna kill me. That's a big mean looking ship. I can get jet. I can get. Yep, I'm dead. So I lost all my stuff just now. Whoops. So you can make the Enterprise if you want. You can make it. I've already seen the Klingon ship. Like, you can make a bunch of things. So, whoa. There's a ship that looks just like me. Alright, so. Oh, this ship looks just like me almost. So I've got to kill things, got to get my R back. So that's the thing is, your ships that you make could show up into someone else's game. That's what's pretty cool. So now I need to gather a bunch of R. I need 336 more R to make that ship I was building in the thing. The thing is, you can give them factories so that they can build things too. You can also hire other ships as well. If you hit tab, command mode, you can command other ships to join you. That are from your side, of course. You can also build bases, which I have not done yet. Just got upgrades over here. Factory zones. I believe you can build bases. Like it says over here, not tutorial, but over in map. That you unlock the factory and upgrade screen. Create your own spawn points by spawning a ship with a factory. Okay, there it is. So if I make a ship that has a factory, I can be spawned out of my own ships. Okay. As long as... What did it say? As long as... As long as they have enough R. So I need my, my little ships that I make to also f get R so they can build me. And as you can see, I am quite expensive to build. I They need to have 543 R to build me. So I have to make my ships really full of stuff as I build them up. Now I need to go hurry up and fill up on R. R, if you take it to a base, will be converted to C so that you make money which you use to upgrade your stuff. Like right over here, let's see you. So hit you right here, so I can unlock these things, like unlock this bigger thruster, unlock these other weapons. It doesn't do anything for these other things. So once I hit enough C of all this stuff, and I can just upgrade myself with C, they have more P, which I'll use to build a bigger ship. And that's the game in a nutshell, and then you just explore and stuff. Now I just want to gather enough R to show off this ship I built, just to see what it does. How it's used by computer AI. Now the, the controls of the game aren't the best, you use your mouse to lead where you are, and then you use WASD to, for your thrusters in relation to where you're aiming with your mouse. You can also use 360 control, which is not as easy to do. Oh crap, I'm about to get destroyed. Kill that. Well, okay, I'm making a good amount of money here. You can zoom in and out like so. Now, blue means it's a base you can repair, so let's go to that base and repair it. So that can make it a spawn point. But here we are. I really don't like the 360 control in this game. Or it looks like okay let's see here I so I could with money hire that guy so there you go that guy's on my team now you can see the ship I built this wasn't even this is a ship I made but it looks like the other members of my faction are building it as well but now that thing's on my side but I still need more R if I want to build that cube that I had so I gotta go look around Break that off. Not much I can do with that. Okay, we're gonna go look for more fight. So this thing I can also hire. Now it's on my side. So now I got this ship with me. So they'll join in and help me with fights. So we're gonna explore out here. Go get more uh, plant. And there's some things to kill over there. Let's go kill that. I uh, flew away. The controls for flight is not easy to do. That's it's a bit annoying to me. That they're, it's, you don't, just don't fly all that or I need more thrusters to fly better. Now you see I got guns, lasers, and rockets. Well, missiles. We almost have enough R. I need to just not run into a big fish that kills me. That's basically what's important. Because we want to be able to uh, make that cube. I need another 134. Okay. And of course, you want to be able to hold more R, you got to build yourself more containers, which I did. You start out with like only like a 100 R container or something like that. 
Well, depending on the faction you start out with. Which I can show that in a bit, where there's a couple different factions you can... Base ships you can start out with in the game, you just have to unlock them. We're getting there, 127. Just harvest more... Okay, kill that guy. Break this up, harvest more off of that plant. The big-ass world. Now the music, it's very ambient, which you expect from a space game. You can always just mute the music and put your own music on. Like, this music's very ambient and actually makes me sleepy. Not so great there. I think of the rockets, we need just more things. And this is the game in a nutshell, and I, I find it enjoyable trying to make your own stuff and making it better and bigger and better and bigger. This is what you do. Kill that guy so I can get more stuff. I would like to get shield generators eventually, because shield generators are kind of really useful. One problem though is just, yeah, your flight. Like, things just get away from you really easily. I guess I need to get more speed. Looks like a teammate killed something, so now I got that, now I can build it. So we're gonna build our cube. And our cube is being built right now. Oh yeah, you regenerate over time, and you get hurt. And there it is, there's our little cube there, and I want to see it in combat. And I can make that cube huge, as well. Like, we saw how big uh, we can build things, and we see, we'll see another big ship. Let's just fly out into a dangerous area so you can see what another ship looks like. Like one of the bigger ships. Like, ships can be huge in size. We're just gonna fly out and get ourselves killed, basically, to show that off. Going, 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 going. So there's some- There it is! Look at that ship compared to me! That's a ship that will kill me. I have to be very careful of it. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, it's just tearing into me. I crashed into this thing. And I'm dead. Yeah. That's a big-ass ship you can make. I wish you could do more color coding than just two. It looks like my probe just built me again, so I'm here. And dying again. And ouch. Like, this guy right here respawned me earlier. Now he doesn't have enough to respawn me, so I gotta go all the way back here and get respawned. I get respawned by this guy here, which I made. Now let me show you what happens when you destroy stuff. So just fly into this, bonk, I destroyed my weapons, and they eventually respawn over time. Looks like it doesn't cost me anything to do that. It's just that they need to respawn, and if my core gets hit, I'm dead. The problem is you get stuck on things, and it's a pain in the ass to get off things. You can destroy them eventually with enough damage. But... I'm going to assume if I want to be able to strafe better, I need more thrusters. I'm going to assume that's a thing. Well, we can always test it out right now. So here we go. Let's say we put thrusters all over the place. Let's put a big-ass thruster here, big-ass thruster here. And now we have it built, so now can I move side to side better as soon as they're built? The answer is... Doesn't look like it. Like, we zoom in, we can see all the thrusters I have. No, okay, yeah. See, the thrusters are working together to move me around. It's just... Yeah, okay, so you need to have more thrusters on you to be able to move around better, it looks like. So that's good to know. So there's just so many little things here and there about this game that have a lot of potential to it, and it's pretty fun. I'm enjoying it. I just wish I wasn't so floaty, so I think I need more thrusters to be less floaty. That's something I gotta look into. But I'm definitely enjoying the game. It's a $15 game, but... It has potentially limitless potential to what you can do uh, with yourself with this game. Just the different kind of ships you can make. Like I said, you can make the Enterprise pretty much. I've already seen a, a Bird of Prey. So I've seen that already. So that's pretty cool. And you can make the board cube, basically. You can make a gigantic board cube with uh, factories to make more of itself and stuff like that. And I do not want to deal with that. I want to shoot it from afar. Oh, that thing has little ships shooting at me. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Oh. So, I want to look into doing that really quick. I want to show that off. Let's try doing that. So, hold on. Let's see here. Um. J? No, I? Okay, I. Okay, so what if we made... This. This thing has a thruster. Big-ass thruster, apparently little thrusters on the sides and we just gave it missiles there we go we just gave it missiles it cost 57 to make this thing there you go that's it so now let's just go out and get the R we need also hire this guy to join us there we go there's a the thing over there we have almost enough R 
I'm not sure how big your fleet can be. I don't know if your fleet can only be four or bigger than that. So I just gotta gather enough R. Like, we saw that big ship spawn a bunch of little guys, so I'm assuming you can make a bunch of little guys. It's just how strong you make them, I guess? So there, now I can spawn one. So now I got a little guy with me. So there we go. Kill these ships so we can make more little guys. Where'd my little guy go? Jeez, he just flew off, I think. Kill this. We got enough. We almost got enough. I need one more R. I have no idea where my little guy went, by the way. But, like, little ships like that are attacking me. They're, these guys are 22P, so I can make 22P ships. But there's my little guy flying off. So I might have made him a little bit a strong, too strong a thruster that he's flying forever, everywhere. Absolute controls, rotate. Oh, thank God, there it is! Yeah, I can do that! Okay, there we go. So I can... Oh, God, I'm dead. That was mentioned nowhere. This is, I was complaining about the ship flying around. Finally, this is what I wanted. So I can make it that my mouse does not affect it, that I can play purely keyboard for movement and then I use the mouse to pick where I fire. Thank God I found that right now by hitting R on accident. There we go. So now I have better response to my ship flight. Okay, there we go, that's cool. But I'm still gonna want more thrusters to be able to move around better. So I can strafe, rotate my ship, Forward, backwards. Yeah, okay, I like this better. Okay. So now I can strafe better while shooting at things. Okay. I rescind that complaint. Glad I found the Oh god, run away. So like see all these little mini ships that launches at me? Like I gotta kill those things off as they're launched at me. I'm just gonna fly away from that thing, because that thing's a pain in the butt. Ouch. Crap. Uh crap. Crap. There we go. Now if I go. There's a ship, kill it with missiles and such. Couldn't kill it. Okay. Ah, uh, crap. Oh, slow down, slow down. I don't have enough forward thrusters to push. Me. I don't have enough thrusters in the front to push me back, it looks like. There's little things you want to adjust for as you're playing. Like right now, I'm trying to reverse and I'm getting killed trying to reverse here. Holy crap, am I getting killed trying to reverse here? I am killing things though. Like, I should look at that thing. That thing only has, like, two little thrusters, so it's able to move around pretty well. I should look into that. I need zero. Why can't I spawn? Am I factory and damaged? I'm getting hit a lot, though. I'm going to assume... There we go. Now I can build... Yeah, I need 57. Okay. So now, now that thing's up, so it can fight for me. I'm all zoomed in. I can fight while zoomed out. Shooting those things. Getting a good amount of R so I can make another guy. You can see my guy just flies off. I'm getting swarmed here. Luckily, they're not doing enough damage to kill me. But they're getting close to it, so... Like, you see, my weapons are just disappearing on me because I'm getting wrecked. There's a lot of guns hitting me. Holy crap. I am slowly getting burnt, broken down, as you can see. But I'm slowly building back up. I'm going to slowly die to the swarm. Holy crap. There's no way around. I'm going to slowly die to the swarm. Still trying to build up, though, but I am really... I'm going to... I'm just beat up. There's no way out. I'm going to get killed soon. I'm going to work down. Oh, God, I'm... Yeah, I'm dead. I am so dead. I would want to play this game with, like, more... Less ambient music? Honestly, like more just higher tempo. Just have fun flying my ship around just wrecking stuff. But there's just so much potential to it and the things you can build and the things you can... Like, I like that. All the things you can build and just different ideas. Like, look at this shuriken. This thing's got four flak cannons and just all these thrusters so it can fly around like crazy. That looks pretty cool there. You can also test it. Let's see here. You can test it against things. Oh, hey, that's cool. You can also... Yeah, okay, so now I'm flying a shuriken. Oh, no, I'm not flying. It's flying itself. I'm watching it fight. Okay. So I can't play it, so I have to build it to play it. Okay, so that's unfortunate. But I can watch it in combat. Look at that thing just fly around and shoot. So that's cool. That is so cool. I just gotta catch up and kill that thing. That's 
flying out of control because it lost its engine. There it is. See, the thing's rebuilt its engine, so now it's better in flight again. And it just shoots at them. That is so cool! Alright, that's awesome. So, yeah, there's so much potential in this game. I'm really liking it. So that right there is the one shot. I uh, put not infinite is too too extreme, but there's a lot of potential to this game. I'm enjoying it a lot. I'm going to be playing it a lot for sure to just try out different ships I can make. Painstakingly try to make maybe even an Enterprise or something. Just have fun with that. This is a pretty cool game. I recommend it. It might go on sale again in the future. Uh, it is 15 full price. Is an indie game sales do happen, so if you don't want to pay the full thing, you can wait for a sale for it. But I'm enjoying it. That right there is the game. I have fun with fun watching. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Having fun. Thanks for coming by, and see you next time. Mm -hmm.